Deshaun Watson came on to the press conference today and was only on the podium for like 10 minutes. Ten and minutes. he gave them nothing. And everything he said, like, for example, they asked Deshaun Watson. They're like, so a report came out about the 66, 66, <laughs> 66 massage therapists over a 17-month span. And now, for me, somebody asked me and said, Zach, rumor has it you had 66 massage therapists over a 17-month span. Somebody asked me, and I'm an NFL quarterback, and I know in my heart that that's not true. You know what I would say? No. <laughs> I would just say no. I'd be like, no, that's not true. <laughs> that's not true. But it's it just like, happens. well, my lawyers, um, my lawyer said that, you know, that's a that's a that's a legal question. I can't really get into that. Uh, it doesn't. I don't know. If, I don't know if that's the right. I don't think that's the number that I would I would say it is. I'm like, no, just say no. If you if it's not true, just say no. But now, in this bullshit answer. It's like, okay, 66 seems right. Then he was on the podium for another question. And someone said, like, you know, would you file a defamation case since you think all these cases are not true? And he's just like, yeah, I haven't really thought about that. You know, just fucking. Have you not thought of that? Like, it's just word diarrhea, basically, the whole press conference. Yeah, this is destroying your entire career. And I'm going to be honest, on the spot right now, I thought of something better to say to the press than that. How about. I can't get into all the details about that right now. It's I know I have a lot of personal issues and there's a lot of questions about my personal life on and off the field. How will I be able to perform next season? However, I am working as hard as I can every single day to get back on the football field. And now I am engaged in these contracts legally and talking with these women. Uh, I cannot speak on it right now due to legal implications. So if you have any questions about football, I'd be happy to answer them. But it's just a complex issue, very personal right now. And I don't want it to affect my training or play off the field. Like, at least dance around it and don't be like, uh, 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 like, can you prepare? Can you prepare at least a fluent answer? Politicians lie all the time for a living. And you're a franchise quarterback. You're the face of the franchise. And part of that responsibility is being the face of to answer for the questions to the media if something goes wrong you're the quarterback of the team it's your fault now and sorry like you're on the cleveland Browns, so it's like very complicated situation when you're the face of what is viewed historically as the worst franchise in the nfl oh it's easily one of the worst and now not only does he just look like an idiot which like his press conference I thought his press conference with the Browns already was kind of weird with the, the um, like when they announced the trade and he was introduced. But this one was even worse. Like this one was super brief. Every question that they asked him, he just like just had word diarrhea. Like didn't have anything synchronized for himself. And then now he looks more guilty. He looks way more guilty now than he did before the press conference. If he just shut the fuck up, I maybe would have been like, OK, maybe he's not as guilty. But like they asked him about 66 Massage therapist. And he goes, well, I don't really know. Um, I think 66 is, I don't know if that's the number that I would say. Um, but that's, you know, that's that's a question that I got to talk to my lawyers. I'm like, how do you not know if you saw 66 massage therapists in a year and a half? I yeah. can answer that question for myself. No. No, I haven't seen 66. I don't know if anybody has seen 66 in their entire lifetime. Yeah, who who even has hugged 66 women in their entire lifetime? True. It's like, and plus, if you have, why are you keeping track? Like, that's not something you're able to keep track of. This seems like something that just slipped away from him. One of the allegations came up. I think it was the 24th, 25th, somewhere around there, because we're at 26 now. Two more have come forward since we recorded last and his lawyer is basically like, yeah, uh, we don't know who that is. And this is the first time we're hearing about it in the 66 women. So clearly his lawyers aren't in the loop. And then later in the press conference, um, they asked him. Oh, he was saying like, oh, I don't. Um, it's like annoying that I triggered people because I said I never assaulted someone. It's like, dude. 
And he keeps saying, like, yeah, I would never insult a woman. It's like, I'd never do anything to make some people uncomfortable. And he kept repeating it. He's like, yeah, I've never done this. I've never done this. Well, the whole time, he's not making eye contact. His head, he keeps going down and looking around the room. It's like, he's showing all the signs that a speech expert would say, yeah, you're lying. Yeah, exactly. He's giving every indication in social cue that he's lying. Like, this is like... Middle school level, like your teacher's like, where's your homework? Like, oh, uh, my dog ate my homework, but uh, it's not something I can talk to you about right now. It's like, no, where is it? Like, yeah. what's going on? Like, you need a better answer than that, especially if you're going to open yourself up to the press. Like, you should be drilling yourself for questions daily because I'm sure you're going to run into people on the street. You're going to run into TMZ, people following you around, trying to get a rise out of you. Yeah, exactly. And I don't know, maybe before you go and talk to all these people, talk to your lawyers so that you have some stuff to talk about and you know what you can say and what you can't say instead of just basically like that. All it did was just attract more attention to you. And now NFL has to think about like, why is this guy not in the league exemplus at yeah. this point? He has 26 lawsuits and he has a minimum of 66 massage therapists who have the chance to potentially sue him. So he has a chance to have as many as 66 lawsuits against him. And the league has done nothing for a year and a half. They haven't said anything or released a statement. Like there's nothing. There's no, there's not even a suspension. All they did was the Texans were paying him the whole time and he just wasn't playing. They're just choosing not to play him. That doesn't solve it. He's still making millions of dollars. And it's not going away this way. If you put him on the league exemplist, it's like, okay, so he's probably done for good. Until the league sh legal shit happened. Yeah, and... Yeah, I don't know if he's going to be able to play, but, like, the league isn't doing anything, and we're in a mini camp right now. So I'm not... Like, training camp is coming up in July. We have the preseason in August, and the league hasn't said anything you at least have to put him on the exempt list and put him on paid leave until you can figure it out. But yeah, if I'm the NFL, you have to put him on the exempt list. And it's kind of weird that the NFL isn't doing anything about this because this is probably the biggest legal situation ever in NFL history. I mean, this goes back to Ray Rice's situation. Uh, it goes back to Ray Lewis's situation, uh, Greg Hardy, Ezekiel Elliott. And this is astronomical compared to anything else that NFL has ever seen. I mean, 66 and then 26 lawsuits. Like he was, they cleared him criminally, but he's not going to jail. People get on the exemplist for just getting arrested. Yeah. Like Henry Rugg is on the exemplist. I think pretty sure he is because he was going, you know, a million miles an hour crash into somebody killed somebody. So it's like, why isn't what he did worse? And the exempt list is meant for whenever the NFL doesn't know what to do and they're figuring it out. So it's like, yeah, we're still good working through it right now, but we're going to put him on the exempt list. And the media has been oddly quiet about the Deshaun Watson situation. Like there's hardly been any coverage of it on ESPN. And it's been fairly minimal on any other uh, station. Yeah. My thing is, is like, I've seen a lot of comments on social media about like, well, they can't suspend Deshaun Watson. He's Deshaun Watson. He's one of the best quarterbacks in the league. I'm like, that's the reason why they should suspend him. Like, just because you're a great player. If Patrick Mahomes, I found out tomorrow, murdered 10 people. Do you think I want Patrick Mahomes playing in the NFL? No. If Tom Brady comes out and turns out he's a sexual predator, Tom Brady should be exempt from the league. Like, nobody should have a better treatment just because they have a particular brand. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's yeah. This shouldn't be based on status. If this was a lower player, if this was a wide receiver running back, someone positioned more characteristic where people would just assume they kind of do that type of thing. Like Deshaun Watson, like you have to put him on the exempt list. So it's weird. The NFL hasn't, I don't know what they're covering up right now, but it seems like there's a lot of situations going on, especially because the implications with the Houston Texans. Now we're finding out that they are providing him hotel rooms and NDAs for these situations. Which means they know a lot more than what they're saying. Oh, they know a lot more. So it's like, yeah, I don't know what they need to do. Definitely 
Just put him on the league exempt list. What's your reasoning not to? Like, yeah, there's no reason not to. It's just kind of a waste. Um, but then also the Browns, because 